So Evan, crazy. Evan, where did you go? <laughs> to Jamaica. Nah. I've been in Japan for the last two weeks, staying in Shibuya, which for those of you that don't know, it's kind of like downtown Tokyo. Hey guys, Retro Game Bros, Evan here, and guest star, Tayden. We finally made it to Tokyo, Japan. Shibuya Crossing is the busiest intersection in the world, and that is not an understatement whatsoever. Are you sure? Uh, Outside of your store. All right, so our area, like Kenny and Shepard, is absolutely insane. The traffic is ludicrous, but this is not car traffic. This is foot traffic in Shibuya. You have like 10,000 people going through the intersection. It's absolutely insane. Literally, it's like shoulder to shoulder. You're like a sardine trying to walk through. Is this an all-way crossing? So you have people with like suitcases coming from Shibuya subway station, trying to go across, and you have tourists going the other way. And then you have people taking their DSLR cameras and taking photos, so while we were there, there was like this chick in her full like wedding outfit taking wedding photos with her husband in the middle of the crossing during that like 30 second window. I kid you not. I wish I had pictures of that, but I didn't take a picture. I have a bunch of animal themed cafes, whether it's a owl cafe, a hedgehog cafe. So you like go in, you order a coffee, a drink, whatever, and then you get to like pet the animals, play with them, sugar gliders, chinchillas. But there was one cafe that stood among the rest. One that was the best. An otter cafe, believe it or not. And like you had adult sized otters, and then you had like, I guess, they're not puppies. I don't know what a young otter is called. Is it a puppy? I don't think it's a puppy. It's dogs, right? Little otters. <laughs> little otters. So the little <laughs> little otters. They're basically puppies. They're hilarious. And like you can literally wrestle them and play with them, pet them and feed them. They're super fun. That was probably the coolest part of Japan next to like all the video game stuff everywhere. I spent way too much time trying to win claw grab arcade games. I actually won a Kirby, a Kirby plushie, a Kirby cookbook. It's not actually like a cookbook, but it has K Kirby cooking on the cover of the book. So like it's a cook notebook. But uh, I won that. My friend Hayden won like 14 anime figures. They have a bunch of figures within claw grab games. They're huge there. Believe it or not, there's like four floors of just claw grab games. Like it goes like basement, then like floor one, floor two, floor three. Because Japan's a very condensed area. Everything is built crazy up. So most retail stores and most arcades have like 10 floors. And you don't really see it on the outside. So when you walk in, there's like a little map that says like, this floor is like Sega, this floor is Namco. This floor is like Tekken and like Street Fighter and like mainly like versing games. A few cool things that like I thought were noteworthy was uh, people don't walk and talk on the phone. But there's no talking on cell phone on subway, which is really cool. It's very peaceful in the morning, and I guess that's to more like respect everyone's uh, space and personal views. What I don't. English did not work there. Tell us some Japanese words you learned. Some Japanese words. Oh, uh, watch me say them and like all of them are wrong and they don't mean what I thought they meant. Uh, konpoi or konpoi. Pretty sure it's cheers. Arigato gozaimasu is like thank you very much. Obviously konnichiwa is like good afternoon. Yes. Hi. Hi means yes. I've been saying that all day to Randy and he's been giving me shit all day for it. Only reply in Japanese. Uh, no is yo. That's delay. Are you sure no is yo? Pretty sure it's no is yo. Oh, they're gonna say hi. Sagoi is like, oh, that would've been funny. I flew over my head that time. Sagoi, I forget the exact. Uh, meaning it's like so cool or so good, something like that. Knees to go in, like on a Can table. Can you count in two. Japanese? Ichni, Sanchi, Go, Rok, Siege, Hach, 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 Starsky, and Hach. Probably. <laughs> Jew is 10. That's definitely not 10. It is. No, it's not. Jew, J U. No, I was got bit by a spider. I didn't tell you that actually. I got bit <laughs> by a spider on my calf, and like late, late night in bed, my calf was really hurting, and I scratched it. It was something hard, and I was like, what the? Like, this is a giant lump Tated? from a spider. <laughs> Tated! Tated's in my bed. Yeah, so I got, I got bit by a spider. And if you see me, please don't squish me. Oh, look at the babies come out of it. Thankfully, my leg didn't fall off. I'm fine. It's slowly going away now, but like I saw the two little fang marks. Mm -hmm. Shit, exotic bug bite. I'm gonna die. I blamed that on Tatum for making me go hiking for like three hours. What was really cool, oh, this is crazy. So, finally get to the top, and in Japan, it's really interesting that like you can smoke inside restaurants still. You can smoke inside casinos, you can smoke inside arcades. Now, the other crazy thing is you can drink everywhere. So, you can buy beer from vending machines. People are drinking in the streets because we were there during cherry blossom season. I believe it's called Hinami or Hanami, where you drink and enjoy the uh, cherry blossoms and the views. But so going up to the very top of this mountain, we get there and everyone's at the top is just drinking. So after what, like, <laughs> we finally made it to the top. And there's this udon slash ramen shop at the very top. Look like, oh sick, like, we get to go to the top of the mountain, sit down and like have some noodles. And I figured prices would be hell expensive because like obviously it's a tourist spot. Everything's supposed to be expensive at like baseball games and everything else. So why not a mountain? Nope, everything was hella cheap. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Which 
was awesome because I got to enjoy noodles and beer after a long hike and I'm way back down. Same thing with the airport. Airport food in Japan is phenomenal. Absolutely excellent. You can get sushi, you can get bento boxes. It's made beautifully and it's also super cheap, which is awesome because airport food in Toronto sucks. Pearson Airport, you suck. I fly a lot. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. I got random search. I'm TS. Uh, Maid cafes are hilarious and absolutely adorable. Your food is like actually cut into shapes based on what you choose. So I chose a bear. So I got a burger with like two ears and like the cheese was formed into his eyes and his nose. For the meals, you have to like put a spell on your food. So the uh, maid will come over to you, deliver your food, and say, Master, you must make this food taste super delicious by using a spell. Wingardium Leviosa. You'll be like, you'll form a heart with one hand, heart with the other hand, you're like, super happy fun meal! And like, it's just like super extra and ridiculous, but it's funny. It was the coolest experience by far. Make cafes, Brian, you're f key. <laughs> I saw that! You struggled for like 30 seconds. No, nothing. I just put that up I don't today. know what you're talking about, it's going back, it's sold. It's sold, it's today. sold. You think was putting it up in the first place. Mistake was letting you into the store, Brian. Whoa. This is the problem with Brian. Harsh. Brian takes all the cool shit. Stop, Brian, stop, Brian. <laughs> we have to have a, a, a go stop Brian fun. Cafe is absolutely hilarious, you gotta put spells on your food. It was really fun, I had a blast. Cooler things, you get a souvenir and you can choose. You can choose a photo of the girl or a keychain. Choose the keychain, because I don't want that to be too weird. <laughs> you actually still get a photo with them. They. Uh, Take one with you on a Polaroid. You get to choose a live show. We're there, and the girl didn't know English too well herself. So she's going through the uh, song. She's like, "You must pick me, pick me," pointing them all out. And she finally gets to one. Her eyes light up. She's like, "Ninja dance," and I'm like, "Ninja dance sounds awesome. Sure, let's, let's do this." So the ninja dance was her like performing like karate and kung fu moves at the very, the very front of the stage. It was really funny. Hey! Fashion. Holy shit. Japan's way out there, man. They're like, you think Toronto has hipsters? You think downtown Toronto is pish posh and like extra? No, 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 no. Japan's crazy. Everything is super hipster. It looks awesome though. It's really nice. A lot of name brand. Uh, Versace, Gucci, obviously. McDonald's! For all about that. Yeah, McDonald's' menu is completely different. Like, it's all, it's all the same thing. Like, Teriyaki quarter pounder, which I love teriyaki sauce. It's actually, it's actually so good, right? It was delicious. I loved it. The first night, we honestly didn't know what to do, where to go, because like we didn't really, we were scared tourists at the start. So we're like, 7-Eleven is safe, and it's in English, so we're gonna go there. So we ate 7-Eleven for the first two days of gas station food, but it's good quality. Gas station food is not bad. By the end of the trip, we were like ordering everything in Japanese and asking for everything in Japanese, which was really cool. But I got a bunch of wicked video game soundtracks because I'm huge into that. And there was stores dedicated. They had a floor for just games, a floor for anime, and then a floor for soundtracks. I picked up Castlevania. I picked up Initial D, which is an awesome racing game. The yeah. soundtrack is sorry. You told me to talk. I'm That's fine. talking. Coolest thing of the trip. I have a video game partner slash supplier who I've worked with for for many years. I've been buying from this guy for years, and like I bought small amounts, and then I worked my way up to buying larger quantities of games, controllers, consoles, like all that, all that stuff. And so fast forward, fast forward years later, I'm still, I'm still buying from him. Me and Blank, aka <laughs> which you will believe, me and <laughs> got the chance to meet in person. Is his name actually <laughs> His name's actually Oh, yeah. and then we're gonna blank it. We're gonna blank it. Yeah. It's beep, beep, beep. Me and my business partner were able to meet face to face, which is actually phenomenal because I've been dealing with this gentleman for many, many years, and putting a face to the name is phenomenal. Do you have a picture with him? No, I don't. He uh, met with us on our second day and he took us out for drinks, and we were having a blast. He was telling me all about Japan, like what to do, the juicy stuff. We we're talking about business as well, but it's hilarious. He's like, "Do you guys like to drink?" And we're like, "Yeah, sure." Like, we'll like go for a drink. So it's it's lunch. We go for a drink, one cup of sake, two cups of sake. Fast forward, I spent about eight hours with him and his wife. Both absolutely lovely people, super kind. Got me absolutely smashed. While we're talking about business. It was hilarious. My my, my friends didn't know what to do because we're like in a whole new country, just like kind of drunk and going around the town, not remembering everything that was that was happening. But it was really fun. He is a hilarious gentleman, very very kind, and he gave me a wicked. Gift. The second rarest N64 controller in all of Japan. For those of you that know it, it has a teddy bear on the cover. It was a limited edition, only released for a toy store in a small amount of time. And I have one of those. Not for sale, obviously. That's going on the back wall of cool shit somewhere up here. But that was really, really kind. Thank you so much. I think you watch our video, so I hope you see this. I had an absolute blast, and I want to thank you for showing us around Japan. It was really, really fun. Japan is an experience like no other. If you get the opportunity to go, please take it. You will enjoy it. It's a huge change of pace from Toronto, and a fun one in my opinion. At last. So stay tuned. Stick around. Like, subscribe, comment, tell me your thoughts below, and we'll catch you all next time. Beep.